All right, the weekly update is out and, well, there's a interesting piece of information. During the gameplay 2 reveal, uh, a lot of us were really disappointed that dedicated servers were not announced. Well, there was a couple background interviews that happened where they said, we're not using dedicated servers, but we're not using peer-to-peer. -peer. We're using some other system. Uh, it's kind of like a hybrid thing. Well, they take some time to actually explain what this system is in the weekly update. Now, just to let you know, this video is going to be a little bit technical, and I don't entirely understand it, but I think, I think I have a good enough grasp on it that I can talk to you about it. So, all right, let, let's get down down to business with here. Uh, Matt Sigur, Sigur, I, I, can't, I can't pronounce your last name. I'm sorry, Matt. Uh, he is the one that uh, goes in and explains all this. And basically, long story short, uh, they they tell you to go read this, the GDC uh, thing where they go over, or the GDC talk where they go over how Destiny 1 match makes. And this is the one thing that you should definitely take note of. Can I zoom in on this? Yes, yes, wonderful. Okay, this is the, this is the uh, thing that you should really take note of because this, this is how Destiny matchmaking works. Basically, there is a is world server that kind of you know matches us all together and then all of our individual clients are the ones that are doing all the physics the stuff with each other god this is not going well okay so l long story short dedicated servers are kind of coming to destiny 2 that's probably what you wanted to hear. So why no dedicated servers? Every activity in Destiny 2 is hosted by one of our servers. That means you will never again suffer a host migration during your raid attempts or trials match. This differs from Destiny 1, where these hosting duties were performed by player consoles and only script and mission logic ran in the data center. To understand the foundation of what we're building, please read the Destiny 1 presentation, and you're probably not really going to understand that unless you understand a lot of the networking stuff. And yeah. Using the terms for that talk, Destiny 2, both of the mission hosts and physical hosts will be running on our data centers. So the uh, mission and activity strike host uh, is kind of what we were used to be connecting to. And then all the physics stuff was calculated by our consoles. Why this was bad for Destiny 1 was, say, the physics host here was lagging. Well, all these people that are connected to him will now suffer because of his you know, bad connection. Uh, whereas if person with good connection was host, uh, it'd be a you know, relatively playable experience. Well, this guy would be a red bar. Well, now all the physics stuff is going to be taken care of on the server side as well. So for all intents and purposes, um, yeah, we kind of have dedicated servers. So they go on to say, wait, so do we have dedicated servers? We don't use that term because in the gaming community, dedicated servers refers to the pure client server networking models. Destiny 2 uses a hybrid of client server and peer to peer technology, just like Destiny 1. You know how we can all kind of seamlessly cross into patrol spaces? That's mainly due to peer to peer. The server is authoritative over how the game progresses, and each player is authoritative over their own movements and abilities. This allows us to give players the feeling of immediacy and moving and shooting, no matter where they live, no matter whom they choose to play with. They really want this to be, you know, to be able to be played with everyone over the world, and I think this is definitely the best system to do that, because if it was purely dedicated servers, you know, I would only be able to play with people in America and have a decent experience, and really only people in, like, West Coast America now. So why peer-to-peer? -peer? Are we trying to save money? No. They invested heavily in new server infrastructure for Destiny 2, including using cloud-based servers for gameplay for the first time. They believe this is the best model for all of Destiny 2's very cooperative and competitive experiences. And though engineering will always involve trade-offs and cost-benefit analysis, but as a team, they have no regret, no regrets about the technology they built for Destiny 2. I'm you know, I'm not completely sold on it. I guess we'll have to wait until the beta, whenever that is, uh, to kind of see how this uh, new technology actually works. Um, yeah, then they, they talk about PC as well, um, uh, to talk about anti-cheating stuff, uh, with, uh, PC, and, yeah, the, the, the big question, does this mean we'll ever see a player warp around the map and shoot through a wall? Uh, it will be reduced. They can't promise it'll be eliminated. Like, the thing with lag is, people will always have crap connections, but hopefully this will kind of limit their overall impact on the game instead of uh <laughs> instead of absolutely cause me to buy like five different controllers i've never broken one out of rage straying off topic over here 
So what can we expect at launch? We have a beta coming up this summer that will be the first chance for players to get their hands on Destiny 2 and kick the tires on its networking. Spend a bunch of time working on matchmaking, latency, responsiveness, and we feel pretty good about it. As with everything we do, we'll be monitoring, monitoring the situation after launch and reacting to community's feedback. So, yeah. Uh, by the way, when's the beta? The, soon. Soon is the exact dates. <sighs> So dedicated servers. We're not getting them because it's a different system. I know. The great, great, great way to end it here. But I'll link I'll link this GDC vault for those that are actually interested in game development, specifically net, network game development. It's some really complicated stuff that goes into Yeah, it's it, this is very in-depth. It's about a hundred and something pages over here of wonderful, wonderful information. That's actually really good to know how the game kind of works. So, all right, dedicated servers. Thanks, Thank you, everyone, for watching, and I'll see you next time. I hope I didn't ramble too much, and I hope this actually made some sort of sense, because I'm still trying to figure it out myself.